Is there an English equivalent? Is there? Hmm. In my opinion, there is. As a Korean native, I had never really given much thought to this vowel. I thought, what is there to think about? It's so simple. But I started teaching Korean as a foreign language to English speakers, and that motivated me to watch some Korean teaching channels on YouTube. And soon I found this channel called Motivate Korean. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this channel already, and I found myself binge watching the videos on this channel. This channel gives you a lot of interesting ideas and different perspectives on learning Korean. So naturally, I was absorbed into the content. Then one day, I found this pronunciation tip video on the vowel O. It caught my attention because I was curious as to why people would have difficulty pronouncing this vowel in the first place. Jeremy, the founder of this channel, introduces the Korean A as a notoriously difficult vowel and says that English speakers do use the sound, but it isn't isolated as this vowel. So, in a nutshell, you could say that this video inspired me to find the same sound in English. Also, he talks about the difference between O and A and how the English O is not a pure vowel, but rather a combination of several different vowels, and that is why people, especially European language speakers, have trouble distinguishing these sounds. In fact, I've seen Italian people having difficulty telling these sounds apart. It's understandable because in Italian, they spell these words with O, but it sounds more open in some words and more closed in others. For example, to my Korean native ear, the O in the word kuare sounds like O, but the O in the word garo sounds more like O. The problem is, even though we hear O in kuare, we still spell it as kuore. Why? Because it is spelled with the alphabet O. To Korean people, O is O and nothing else. That's why. So it can be confusing for Italian natives. When you're transcribing foreign words, English, in this case to Korean, words like the sun, luck, career, or first may not all be spelled with the letter U or O, but it is always spelled with O in Korean. When you dig a little deeper and really take some time to think about the sound, the shape of your mouth and tongue position, you'll see that it's not as simple as you might think. When you compare the O sound in the word sun with the Korean word 어머니, these sounds are not the same and you will notice that the Korean A is formed farther back, very close to the throat. Let's think about some of the sounds that are similar to the Korean A sound. Awesome, dawn, walk, sought, bought, talk, brawl, or awful. These are much closer to the Korean A than other sounds. When I was in college as a voice performance major, I had to take this chorus class. And the conductor used to say, the R is the ugliest vowel in American English. Wait a minute, R is a consonant. How can it be a vowel, you might say? But we hear this all the time. 
In American English, when an R is combined with a vowel or vowels, it can also act as a vowel. The conductor was most concerned about the ending of phrases. For example, when you sing something like forever or care at the end of a phrase, what do you have? If you keep that distinct American R sound, what you have is er. It's not the most pleasant sound to listen to, and it certainly is not the most comfortable sound to sing in. So, many conductors tell you to drop the R completely, or if you want to keep the American R because it is an American song, they'll tell you to put it at the last possible second of the phrase. But when you pronounce er as in first or word, the sound er is used in stressed syllables and it sounds a little tenser than the other er used at the end of the words like ever or care. Since we don't want any tension, we're going to focus on the relaxed version of the sound to pronounce the Korean all vowel. Okay, now pronounce forever and stay in that last position and gently relax your tongue. Don't change the shape of your mouth or lips, but simply put the tip of your tongue down. Then, voila, there it is. The Korean all. If that doesn't convince you, pronounce Korean words like 한국어 or 영어 and then stay in that final position. Don't move anything, just stay in that exact mouth position. Then curl the tongue up to pronounce er as in earn or urge. Notice where your tongue is and simply put the raised tip down and relax it. And there you have the Korean all. Let's do some practice. Mother, er, put the tongue down. Er, all, all money. There, er, put the tongue down. Er, all, joggy. Spider, er, all, call me. Hair, er, put the tongue down. All, Maori. And now, do the opposite. Say the Korean word, 한국어, all, and then raise the tip of your tongue to pronounce urge. 한국어, all, raise the tip, er, urge. 영어, all, raise the tip, er, earn. Remember, don't change anything. Don't change the shape of your mouth. Just stay in that position. 고등어, all, Raise the tip, raise the tip of your tongue. Er, earl. Tano, all. Raise the tip. Er, earn. If you practice these exercises several times, you'll be able to find the right place to form the vowel all. Thank you for watching.